Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 9, Practice Problems Review is on constant speed. And as we look at question 1, Han ran 10 meters in 2 and 7 tenths seconds. Priya ran 10 meters in 2 and 4 tenths seconds. Who ran faster and explain how you know? Well, our solution to this is Priya. And how we know, she ran... the same distance which was 10 meters faster than Han and she ran it in 2 and 4 tenths seconds Han ran it in 2 and 7 tenths seconds so she was 3 tenths of a second faster than Han now at this rate, how long would it take each person to run 50 meters? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, for Han, 10 meters in 2 and 7 tenths seconds. We want to get to C 50 meters. Well, is there an easy way to get there? Sure. I can take 10 and multiply it by 5 to get to 50. So I can take my 2 and 7 tenths and multiply it by 5 to get 13 and 5 tenths seconds. Now, what about Priya? Priya ran the 10 meters in 2 and 4 tenths seconds. So once again, we're looking for that 50 meter time in how many seconds? And once again, 10 times 5 was equal to the 50. So 2 and 4 tenths times that 5 is equal to 12 seconds. And that should make sense that she's running it faster in, for 50 meters because she ran the 10 meters faster as well. All right, let's continue on to question two. A scooter travels 30 feet in two seconds at a constant speed. What is the speed of the scooter in feet per second? Well, if I come down to one second here, I'm cutting that in half. Two to one, I'm cutting in half dividing by 2. So 30 divided by 2 is 15 seconds. Or I'm sorry, 15 feet. Hello. And then if we count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds to complete this double number line, we're going up by 15 up top. So 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. And then a skateboard travels 55 feet in 4 seconds. Is that going faster, slower, or the same speed? Well, the skateboard was going 55 feet in those 4 seconds. Our scooter is going 60 feet in those 4 seconds. If we take a look at our double number line here, 60 feet in those 4 seconds. So, the scooter, or the skateboard, is slower, as it only travels 55 feet in the 4 seconds, where the scooter traveled 60 feet in the 4 seconds. Question 3. A cargo ship traveled 150 nautical miles in six hours at a constant speed. How far did the cargo ship travel in one hour? Well, a couple different ways of getting there. You know, the first is to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and break it down here. But what I would simply do is, well, from 6 to 1, I'm dividing by 6. 
So from 150 to this spot, I'm also dividing by 6. When I take 150 divided by 6, I get 25. And if you wanted, you could finish the number line 50, 75, 100, 125. But basically, the ship travels 25 nautical miles in one hour. Problem four. A recipe for pasta dough says you use 150 grams of flour per large egg. How much flour is needed if six large eggs are used? Well, if I'm at 150 grams for one egg, if I'm trying to get to six eggs, I'm multiplying the bottom here by 6, so I need to multiply the 150 by 6 to increase that by a factor of 6, and so 150 times 6 is 900 grams. How many eggs are needed if 450 grams of flour are used? All right. Well, again, if it's 150 grams for the one egg, trying to get to now how many eggs for 450 grams of flour? Well, 150 times 3 is 450. So 1 times 3 is going to be 3 eggs. Continuing on, the grocery store is having a sale on frozen vegetables. Four bags are being sold for $11.96. What's the cost of one bag and nine bags? Well, $11.96 for four bags. To get this to one bag, let's divide by four. That's four divided by four is one. And if I take $11.96 and divide that by 4, I get $2.99. And now for 9 bags, all equivalent ratios here, I can multiply the 1 by 9 to get to 9 bags. So if I take the $2.99 and multiply it by Nine, I'm going to end up with $26.91. Question six. A pet owner has five cats. Each cat has two ears and four paws. Complete the double number line to show the number of ears and paws for one, two, three, four, and five cats. Let's just do that first. We need one, two, three, four, and five cats. One, two, three, four, five cats. Well, the number of ears in one cat, right? The number of ears in one cat is going to be two. Whereas the number of ears in, I'm sorry, paws in one cat is four. So if I kind of have this middle here, that's not really a number line of cats, one, two, three, four, five cats. Two cats have four ears and eight paws. Three cats have six ears and 12 paws. Four cats have eight ears and 16 paws. Five cats have 10 ears and 20 paws. You can see the 2 to 4 ratio here. If there are three cats in the room, what is the ratio of ears to paws? Here's our three cats. Ratio of ears to paws is 6 to 12. If there are four cats in the room, what is the ratio of paws to ears. Now, pause to ears would be 16 to 8. 
If all five cats are in the room, how many more paws are there than ears? There are 20 paws and 10 ears, so 20 minus 10 is going to be 10 more paws. Question 7. Each of these is a pair of equivalent ratios. For each pair, explain why they are equivalent or draw a representation that shows why they are equivalent ratios. Well, 5 to 1 and 15 to 3, you can look here and go, all right, I'm multiplying the left side by 5 and I'm multiplying the right side by 5. In 25 to 5, in 10 to 2, let's see. A little more tricksy, right? But what's taking place here is I'm multiplying by 2 fifths here on both 25 times 2 fifths is 10, and 5 times 2 fifths is 2. Now, that one might be more helpful to have a diagram sketched out in order to see this. Starting at the zeros here. We have 25 to 5. And if I'm counting by ones on the bottom here, 10 to 2 would be here. And I can fill this in as 5 to 1, 10 to 2, 15 to 3, 20 to 4. And you can visualize the ratio also by drawing this double number line diagram, comparing 25 to 5 and 10 to 2. And now for this last one, we're going to have 198 to 1,287 compared to 2 to 13. Now, when looking at these two, I can look and go, okay, 2 times 99 is 198. And sure enough, 13 times 99 is 200, I'm sorry, 1,287. And so this one we're multiplying by 99 to get from 2 to 13 to 198 to 1,287. So that is it for this grade 6, unit 2, lesson 9, practice problems review on constant speed. Good luck.